All right, so we're diving into AI Camp today, um, and you've provided some information on them. It seems like they're they're kind of a big deal in the world of AI these days. Yeah, what's really striking is just the sheer size of the community they're talking about. Over yeah. 400,000 developers across 150 countries. That's not just like a small online forum. That's a it's a substantial network. Wow. That's not just a user group, right? We're talking like a small country populated entirely by people who speak Python. It's practically a nation state built on lines of code. I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah. So with a global AI community this large, what are we actually talking about here? Like in real world terms, are we talking about people I don't you know, do. meeting up in coffee shops to talk about algorithms or is it something a little bit more structured? They've got a bit of both going on, actually. They have these virtual seminars every week, which is great for, you know, kind of keeping up to date with the latest advancements and everything. Yeah. But then they also do these in-person meetups, workshops. They even have hackathons. Yeah. And we're not just talking about Silicon Valley here. This is happening in major cities all over the world, over 40 that they list on their website. Okay, hold on. Back up. Hackathons now. Yeah. For those of us listening who maybe don't have software engineer on our business cards, paint me a picture. What are we talking about when we say hackathon? Is this like an all-night coding frenzy fueled by pizza and energy drinks? Well, I mean, there's probably a bit of that, depending on the specific hackathon. Okay. But uh, essentially what it is is it's like a collaborative kind of sprint where developers get together and they team up to build something awesome in a short amount of time using AI. Okay. And so it can be a really great way to learn some new skills or, you know, test out some ideas and network with other people who are really passionate about AI. I was going to say networking is definitely something that comes to mind, but I mean, that does sound pretty intense, I have to admit. So is this AI camp thing only for like the hardcore AI geniuses or is there room for people who, you know, maybe think a neural network is something you order at a fancy restaurant? Don't worry, they cater to all different levels from beginners all the way up to, you know, the experts. Mm -hmm. And in fact, I think that's one of the really cool things about AI Camp is that they seem really focused on, you know, empowering anybody who has an interest in AI, regardless of what your background is or what your level of experience is. So it's less about like showing off your coding chops and more about actually learning and building something cool. Exactly. And speaking of building cool stuff, let's talk about their client list for a second. Okay. Because we're talking some big names here. We're talking Google, Microsoft, AWS. Mm -hmm. They even work with some smaller startups that are doing some really cutting edge AI work. So are we saying that attending one of these events could put you in the same room with like the engineers who are literally building the next generation of AI tools? That's the idea. Because that's huge. Yeah, AI Camp really acts as this bridge between people who are interested in AI and the companies that are shaping the future of the field. Okay, now we're talking. Now my interest is officially peaked, but let's talk logistics for a second. Is there like a central hub, like a physical location where all this AI camp magic happens? Oops. Or is it more of a decentralized, choose your own adventure kind of deal? Well, they do have a website, a really well put together website actually. Okay. But I think what's interesting is how they've structured their event calendar. Okay. So they've got this mix of virtual and in-person events that happen all throughout the year. Okay. And they cover a really wide range of topics too. So whether you're a night owl who prefers to soak up knowledge from your couch or you're someone who really thrives on that face-to-face -face interaction, they've got an option for you. Exactly. And it but, looks like they keep it pretty updated too, like their schedule, I mean. Yeah. For example, they've got something called MFS happening in San Francisco on November 14th. MFS. Yeah. yeah. Now, I'm not entirely sure what that stands for. MFS, that's got a mysterious tech conference <laughs> written all over it. And it's <laughs> like, we're trying to crack a secret code here. Right. Okay, MFS aside, let's go back to those clients for a second. Yeah. You mentioned Symbol AI. Right. And they're doing some really interesting stuff with AI meeting transcription. Mm -hmm. So you're saying I could go to an AI camp event. Yeah. And I don't know. Maybe end up chatting with the engineers who are building that. Well, yeah, that's part of the beauty of it, right? It's not just about sitting there and passively listening to presentations. It's about actually making connections with people. Okay. You could be rubbing shoulders with the people who are actually behind the scenes of some of the most exciting stuff happening in AI right now. See, now that's what I'm talking about. Right. Like, yeah. Because it's one thing to read about a company online oh. or read their marketing materials, but to actually be in the same room with the people who are building this stuff. Yeah. 
that's that's another level. And it's not just about connecting with those big companies either. Right. Remember, we were talking about the sponsorship opportunities earlier. Yeah, right. Let's say you're someone who has their own AI project or they're working on something. Maybe they're a budding entrepreneur. This could be your chance to actually pitch that idea directly to potential investors or collaborators. Wait, are you serious? <laughs> like they have a whole system for that. Yeah, they've got different levels of sponsorship. Okay. You can host a workshop, you can have your company's name up on a banner. It's like a built-in platform for getting your AI project noticed. Okay, you blew my mind a little bit with that one, I'm not right. gonna lie. So we've got learning, we've got networking, We've got potential funding opportunities. It's like AI camp is like a one-stop shop for all things AI. Yeah. But let's talk about the elephant in the room for a second. This all sounds great, but it also sounds kind of expensive. What's yeah. the catch? Yeah, no, that's a fair point. You'd think something like this would be, you know, pretty pricey. But what I think is really interesting is how much they seem to have thought about accessibility. Okay. Like, for example, their virtual seminars. They have sponsorship options that are actually pretty reasonable for the kind of reach that they offer. So you're saying that even a small startup or even just like an individual developer could potentially get in on the action. Yeah, exactly. And then when it comes to the in-person events, they've got a bunch of different sponsorship packages. Okay. So you can kind of decide how much you want to do. You could go all out with a big sponsorship or you could do something smaller, like maybe just get a speaking slot. Okay. They even have options for like if you want to provide the venue itself. So whether you're a solo developer working out of your garage or you're some big multi-million dollar tech company, AI Camp has a way for you to get involved. It seems that way. Yeah. yeah they've clearly put a lot of thought into making this accessible to people. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. Okay. This is all starting to sound kind of utopian, <laughs> but let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> Well, all this talk about sponsorships and networking and whatnot, I'm curious, what are people actually like learning at these AI camp gatherings? Yeah. Is it super technical stuff? Is it more high level? What's the vibe? It seems like they cover a pretty wide range of AI topics, you know, like their weekly seminars, for example. Yeah. They'll often bring in experts in really specific areas. Like wow. you might have one week on machine learning, then the next week it's deep learning, natural language processing. That kind of thing. So it's not just a one-size-fits-all AI thing. They actually get kind of granular with it. Right. And the in-person events seem even more hands-on. We're talking like actual workshops where you can learn practical skills and, of mm. course, the hackathons where you're actually building stuff. So you're saying I could go from knowing basically nothing about AI to actually building something cool over the course of a weekend. Well, I mean, maybe not knowing nothing. But, yeah, I think that's certainly possible. Okay. Especially if you've got, you know, the right guidance and you're collaborating with the right people. Right. Which I imagine is kind of the whole point of something like AI Camp, right? It's not just about, like, passively absorbing information. It's about actually applying it and yeah. experimenting and learning from other people. Yeah. And let's be real. Having that community there can make a big difference, especially in a field like AI where things are changing so quickly. It can be easy to feel like you're getting left behind. Right. It's nice to have people to bounce ideas off of. Exactly. And I think that's something that AI Camp seems to really understand. It's funny. We started off talking about them as this global AI community. Yeah. And that in itself is impressive. Right. The sheer scale of it. But now I'm realizing it's about a lot more than just numbers. It's about connecting with other people and sharing knowledge and building the future of AI together. Yeah. I think that's a good way to put it. It's about right. fostering that sense of collective progress. I like it. All right, so you've sold me. AI Camp sounds amazing. For anyone listening who's thinking, this sounds awesome. How do I get involved? Where do they start? Well, their website is definitely the place to start. They've got their whole event calendar on there, more information about the different programs they offer, resources for getting involved in the community. It's all there. And I imagine with a community this large, they probably got a presence on social media and forums and all that good stuff. Oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah. If you're interested in AI, it's definitely worth checking out. Awesome. Well, you've given us a lot to think about. It's inspiring to see an organization like this that is making AI more accessible to more people and fostering that spirit of collaboration. Who knows what incredible things are going to come out of all these connections being made? That's something to ponder.